Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Mirror's Edge. Last time we finished the prologue in chapter 1. Uh, this time we gotta go find Jackknife and see what he knows about this mysterious murder. Um, so uh, like, yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> Up we go. Up we go. And yeah, the, the, the levels are each about a half hour long, so I'll probably put do it one level per video. Um, and maybe I'll do some extras where I go look for the bags later, because I missed a couple bags already. And I don't think me replaying all the levels to look for them is going to be that interesting to watch. Okay, yeah, there's a, there's a um, helicopter's going to shoot us, so we are going to not be shot by a helicopter. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. You don't want to get shot. Okay, there's a bag. Icon. So there's one around here somewhere. I don't remember where. That would be fantastic. There it is. Cool. Yeah, there's, four, there's 30 of them in the game, three in each level. Uh, we may or may not actually find them all on camera. We'll see how we go. I have missed some in the first couple chapters already. I may play them again later to get those. Maybe. Oh, I can't slide under that. Assumed I could, but I could not. Okay, we want to go in here, get out of the side of all the snipers. And here, we want to turn this off. Uh, to get the steam out of the way so we can go through here. There we go. We should be safe in here for a little while because all the cops and stuff outside do not know we're here. Well, they do know we're here, but they don't come in for some reason. It's a bit strange if you think about it. Uh, get in here, there we go. Have a little bit of a crawl around. Into the storm drains. Yeah, we want to get into the storm drains. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are telling us not to run, but this is a game about running, so we're going to keep doing it. It's just how we roll. Oops. Yeah, uh, if you jump off at the wrong spot, something like that's gonna happen. Alright, I'm meant to go this way. Oops. Okay, yeah, you meant to meant to go along this way and then down here. Right. Yeah, you can tell I haven't played this game in six years, huh? <laughs> uh, I can't remember the route you're supposed to take. Oof. Yeah, if you lose momentum here, you're gonna be a bit of trouble because they're shooting at you. Okay. Okay, so the helicopter's gone, thankfully, so we can just keep going uh, without having to worry too much about getting shot. Uh oh. Okay. That's a little bit back. So yeah, um, you do sort of have trouble with this first person platforming stuff every now and then, but it's not a huge deal because the checkpointing is relatively generous. Okay, uh, still too high. Emergency gate release. Okay, we actually have to get over to the gate uh, before it closes, I think. Uh, so a little bit of running here. That's okay though. We are literally called a runner, so you know we know what you know what we're doing. 
And now we are in the storm drains. And yeah, it's pretty dank down here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is that. A little bit of a flippery, flipperoo, so we can get over here. Reach this button. Open this grade. There we go. Got some drain plans. Should be an exit on the other side. Looks pretty high up. Yep, we're gonna do some climbing so we can reach the exit. Although I think there is actually another bag if we go to the kinda dark in here. Um over here maybe? Maybe not? I don't remember. Oh, uh, there are snipers down here? Yeah. They're not super good at their jobs, so it shouldn't be a huge problem. So as long as we keep moving, basically. Side? No, I don't think so. I cannot remember. Hopefully I will remember as we're making our way through here. There's some rats around. This game you do not have to hurt the rats, which is nice. They just sort of scurry around and provide scenery. Um, I don't think you, can, you even can hurt them, so... It's quite exciting, as games with rats in them go. Keep going. Don't think those blues won't come down here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they will. Oh. Hey, why did you do that? I mean, it's because I pressed the button that makes you do it, but... Keep going. Don't think those blues won't come down here. Hey, getting something on the wires. Looks like they anticipated you might duck in here and send a sniper team ahead. Yeah, there's snipers. They're over there. As I mentioned, they're not very good snipers, so they'll probably be fine. take the sniper rifle and use it ourselves if we want, but I'm good. Um, do I want to jump over there? I don't remember. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Okay. I think I want to go this way. Yeah, that's right. And we can put up here. There's a zip line in the middle there that we can use to continue, but... Uh, before we do, let me see. I'm still interested in looking around for bags. I don't know how much I'm going to devote time I'm going to devote to this during the playthrough, but we'll see. There are the snipers. Oop. Okay. Okay, that was a checkpoint. That's helpful. Um, 
If you build the momentum, you can jump all the way across here without having to climb up, but I'm not quite building enough momentum. Okay, there we go. Now we're down where the snipers are. I'm just gonna get over here and deal with them. Or get dealt with by them. They are more competent than I remembered. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just continue. Uh, I don't think there's a bag over there anyway. So, just zip line our way over here and carefully make our way over this little gap. Yeah, there's cops down on the bottom floor now. Oh, switch our way over to. We've gone too far, I think. <laughs> Oh dear. Open the door. Okay, I'm through. Ugh. Okay. Uh, all those doors are locked, but we can just jump up here. Uh, give me our way over to either side to get a little more height. I can make one of these. And up we go. Oh gosh, you ready? Here we go! Uh oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Grab that. Jump to here. Easy peasy. I think you're just supposed to slide down here and be absolutely terrified. Ooh. Okay, yeah, then you slide, and then you just walk along here. Uh, you can shimmy on that little piece, but much quicker to do it this way. Let me hit this button. Let's open this gate. Which leads to the exit. Up we go. Up we go. Again. <laughs> Up we go. Okay, we want to turn off this water because, like, it'll just push us down. It's super strong. I guess that's probably realistic, but also it's kind of weird. So now let's get to here, have a little bit of balance on this little pole. Jump, jump, jump. Onto this. I think this is like an elevator. For emergencies, the emergency elevator. And with that, we are ready to exit. Activate the crane, jump onto the payload real quick. We can ride it out of here. Eventually. Oh, right. I forgot how this works. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, you press this button, uh, then you get into this one, which actually stays put, and then you wait for this other one, which is down there, to come up, and you jump under that <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, we can ride this one to the surface, and as you might expect, the surface is crawling with more cops. So we're going to want to try to be very careful as we make our way out here. Ah, uh, there's another little runner sign, so let's have a quick look around. See if we can't find any little bags. 
Ez van. And yeah, the cops are on their way, so... And we're dead. The bag stays collected, but that's... Okay, let's ride this back out again. Let's just be a little more careful this time. Facing cops head on in this game is a bad idea. You don't want to, you want to run. You want to, you want to run away. Pretty much whenever you can. It's gonna make sure the bag stayed collected, but I'm pretty sure it did. Yes, it did. Okay, running time. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oof. Oh dear. Okay. We are headed, um, you, you saw that barbed wire area? We want to get into that. Um, so we have to get over the barbed wire, basically. And yeah, there's a lot of cops. Um, try running away from the cops. Basically this way. See if that helps a bit better. Okay, those two cops have clearly spotted me, so I'm just going to run right past them like this. Um, I'm going to get stuck and stop moving, which is the opposite of what I want to do in a game like this. So, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay. It worked. We're in. Okay, let's go. Wasn't sure we'd have enough, like that truck was close enough, but it worked. Okay, let's get in the elevator. And let's get up in the elevator. Okay. Up we go. I did press up, didn't I? I think I did. I was like on the ground floor, so it makes sense. That's Jackknife. Uh, we gotta chase him. I believe he will get away if we're not quick enough, but he's not that quick, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Come back here, jackknife. You nerd. stopping, so maybe he can't get away. I don't remember. Because he's like leading us somewhere is the point. Uh, over here, I think. Go. Oops. Uh, the game go. Sorry. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Oops. Uh, this way, I think? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is right. Okay. Oh! He's in that elevator. Let's follow him in the other elevator. I don't think you can actually catch him. I think he always is scripted to appear in that elevator and for it to close as you arrive. And we can't get over there because he broke everything on the way. Can so we're going to... Have to... Yeah. we got to go a different way. Uh, I think we go over here. Yes. Looks incredibly dangerous. Um, 
I don't think these air conditioning units are designed to be walked on, so, you know, don't do this in real life. Uh, also, if you fall off a building, you will not respawn, so, you know, don't do this in real life. <laughs> also, things don't get highlighted in red when you're near them, so don't do this in real life. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, can we jump all the way over there? It's kind of far. Yeah, we can jump it. Okay. Okay, here we come, jackknife. Yep. Okay, stop up here. We're here, cutscene time. I know what you're here for, Faithy. Jack, Don't call me Faithy. What has to do with Pope's murder, Jack. I heard a cop did it. You heard wrong, then. You a fan of wrestling, Faith? Pope was a wrestling fan. He even employed an ex-wrestler to handle his security. Travis Burfield used to go by the name of Ropeburn. Is this going somewhere? Ropeburn? Well, he's really just a thug who got lucky. And sometimes people are too ignorant to see their place. Always want to swim in the big pond. Never see the bigger fish. If I were you, I'd start with a glorified slab of meat. Happy hunting, Faithy. Listen, I don't know about going to rope burn straight away. I'm not. I'm gonna see my mother. Oh, Faith, what are you doing? You're gonna tell him about Jackknife? Not yet. He's still a cop. No matter what Kate says. Faith doesn't like cops. Me either, Kate. Not Kate. Faith. Kate, I think, is a cop. Faith doesn't like cops, though. Lieutenant Miller? I'm Faith. Kate's sister? She never mentioned a sister. Yeah, well, we're not the mentioning kind. She told me to find you if things went bad. She's been arrested. And you wouldn't be the suspect seen fleeing from the crime scene, would you? Well now, it's difficult to recall with a gun in my face. I know what you are. You know it was a setup, right? I know Kate wouldn't be capable of something like this. But my captain's asking some difficult questions, and I can't even get in to see her. What do you know about something called Icarus? Why? It's mentioned on this. It was in Pope's hand. I think it's from his diary. You took evidence. Kate's the only family I have, Lieutenant. And Blue's in jail don't last long. She goes down for this. It's a death sentence. I won't stop you. I owe that much to Kate. But there are plenty of people who'll try, and I can't stop them either. You better learn how to run. Running is what I do best. Rope Burns got an office at Z Burfield International Shipping near the Riding Park subway. Should be a sign on top of the building, it'll help guide you. Look, I saw Rope Burn wrestle once. Broke some poor bastard's arm, then headbutted the ref. So if this Rope Burn really is mixed up with Pope's murder and Kate's setup, then he sure won't be a talker. He'll be a fighter. Okay, so our deal here, yeah, we want to go look for Rope Burn. Um, I'm just going to quit to the main menu, uh, and then switch back to the prologue. Uh, because we've got a few minutes left before we get to half an hour, I'm just going to jump back into the prologue and see if I can find that missing runner bag. Uh, we can skip cutscenes and stuff. I think it's up past this first little bit. Let's just, let's just scour everything just to be absolutely sure. Okay, uh, I think that's clean. All the panels are definitely designed to be run upon, in case you're wondering. Um, 
Doesn't cause any problems at all. They won't break. Even though they're essentially made of glass. <laughs> they are definitely immune being damaged by that type of activity. Okay, we want to look for the runner symbol. Uh, I guess keep our eyes peeled. Let me get up there. Let me get up there. <laughs> oh, the satellite is just in the way. There we go. I'm not seeing anything of uh, sus suspicion. Nice work, Faith. You're making good time. The left's almost there. Just keep heading towards the comms tower. Give her the bag and she'll take it from there. So, yeah, uh, we already have a bag. That's part of the story. That's not one of the hidden bags. Uh, Three in each level are separate from the one we're going to give to Celeste. Maybe down here? Ow. Doesn't look like it. I don't see any symbols, so probably not down here. Oops. <laughs> Okay. I did not grab that. Like I should have just grabbed onto it and been fine, but I didn't. And hence I died. Again. That's more like it. Okay, anything down there? It doesn't look like it. Up, 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 up. Okay, so we've got a, we've got a door there. Anything over here of interest? We can get over this barbed wire, I believe. Like so. Does that lead to anything valuable? Doesn't seem to. I suppose the barbed wire was the end that we're not really supposed to go over here. Okay, now we are inside. The first runner bag was just here. The symbol is there, and the bag is up there, but we already got it, so it won't show up again. As far as I know, I think they don't show up when you replay a level. Yeah, see, it was here, but now it's not. Okay, so it's somewhere after we're running from the, running from the cops. Which makes sense. Uh, have a little bit of crawl here. Wow, I did that badly. Keep your eyes peeled. I know that you can't really help because this is a pre-recorded video, but you know, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> there we are. Okay, it's over here. Some. Yeah, there, there it is. Up here. Okay, uh, I think we have to finish the level to make sure it saves, but the levels are all short, so no big deal. Just do a little more running. Because this is a game about running. Should have just about enough time to uh, get this done. Since we're just running and we're not running or worrying about um things like finding all the bags, we did it already. Uh, we should be able to get to here quite quickly. Unless I mess it up a lot, which I am doing.
Okay. Um. Get through the blast. There are more blues on the way. Okay. And now all we gotta do is jump on the helicopter and the level's done. You gotta get off that roof, mate. Don't care how you do it, just do it. And done. Okay, so we're done with the prologue. Uh, I'll do chapter one flight probably next time I have some extra time to spare. And then I guess I'll go back to Jackknife as well, but next time we'll actually be continuing with the real chapter next. So, cool. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.